show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Mark, Mark Boudelier, and today we are talking jewelry. Jewelry pieces. I think jewelry is pretty exciting and I've sort of accumulated a lot of jewelry pieces. We're going to run through those. But before we do that... What you got? Nice. No way, I just found a jar in here. A patchwork jar at that. 250 bucks though, but like low key. I don't know about this. This looks like some, some weird, uh, what? like Y2K item or something. Pretty fire though. I swear to God, people are planning. Sh There's no way. I found a patchwork jar and a Jotaman back to back places. Beautiful signet. Uh, wow, what a what a plug! Real quick. <laughs> this is a jewelry video, after all. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I can't really get it off my finger. You wanna you wanna pull my finger? Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> little little fart sound effect. <laughs> so um, this is a little Beyblade match. Nice. With rings, because of uh, the jewelry video. Don't so. fuck my sapphires, bro. My pink sapphires. Well, I lost. I do have this lovely green box that may or may not be in the frame right now. Um, here it is. I picked these up over at Full Circle, as you guys sort of saw, and I wanted to share with you guys uh, before we get too deep into this. So let's open this right up. I got these for what felt like a pretty killer steal. I paid 400 bucks. They are a pair of Bottega Bonetta tire lug boot things, the low top ones, which I do like the high top ones a lot, but for the price and for the fact that it's like the translucent sole, and to be honest, these ones are probably more comfy anyways to get on and off, but I really like them. They have a little bit of wear on them, a little bit of scuffage, but if anything, I appreciate that because it just makes me want to beat them up even more and just wear them and be comfortable in them and not have to feel any type of way about wearing them. So, shout out Full Circle, as always, love to support the Atlanta shops, especially the ones that have good stuff and good people and all that. That's that, let's go ahead and break into the jewelry. I'm gonna start with rings and then we will get into necklaces, so yeah. First up, we have this little sterling piece, nothing crazy, this is literally the most basic ring ever. It fits on my pinky, but I feel like you kind of have to have some filler rings if you're trying to like actually like wear like a handful of jewelry. So not every single piece can be super flashy. This is a great, just like understated whatever ring. As is the next one that we have, which fits on my next finger over, my ring finger. I really like this one. It's simple. It's got like a little bit of like a texture going around it. And it's just a simple band, exactly. So it's, it's good. All of my jewelry is sterling in terms of rings and really in terms of just about everything. So I always recommend going sterling over stainless steel. It just, you know, it wears better. It looks better in my opinion. It feels higher quality. It's heavier weight. All of that good stuff that you look for in jewelry, or at least I do. So yeah. Next up, we have a, another basic ring, all just silver. It's got like a little bit of a squiggly pattern. I don't know how you, I don't know what I would describe this squiggly pattern as, but 
I like it. It fits again on my ring finger. Molds well with my other more flashy pieces, if you will. So let's get into some of those. All of the ones that I just showed there are non-branded. I got them at like antique shops or like Buffalo exchanges, secondhand shops, whatever. Definitely would recommend that if you're trying to sort of start a jewelry collection and you kind of are working with like a smaller budget. Most of those I got for like 20, 30 bucks. So not bad, but let's get into the branded stuff. Let's get into the flashy stuff, if you will. First up, this is probably my favorite piece of jewelry I own. It is incredible. It is from the brand The Ooze, The Owls, however you say it. I want to say they're based in the UK, but this one is Pink Sapphires. It has sort of like an unfinished look to it. You can see like the little hammer marks. It's one of my most heavyweight rings. Okay, I'll be, I'll be honest right here, right now. Everything else that I'm showing from here on out was all sent to me. I have not actually paid for any of this uh, jewelry right here, so that's just me being transparent. However, this ring right here is so, so good. I literally want to buy like a bunch more from them because it's super high quality, it's super heavyweight, and I just wear this thing like almost every single day. So, and I'm always looking at it, like I'm just looking at it right now, admiring it. So beautiful. Anyways, that is that ring. Next up, this one actually wasn't sent. This one was gifted from the GF. It is a ring from Harry Hunt Co. It has a citrine stone. I know Magnus had this ring and used to show it off and that's when I first saw the brand and I was like, wow, that's pretty nice. And then they've also done stuff with Sanjeev, like a collaboration that was really cool. Really like this ring, really like the citrine. It looks really great in the summertime. Yeah, it looks really great. This outfit right here, it pairs so nice with the green. Anyways, we do have a green ring right here. It is Malachite. It is from Clocks and Colors. It looks like it has like an Illuminati symbol on the side, which is kind of weird. It's like a little bit of an aggressive looking ring for me. I'm not necessarily someone who wears like super uh, like aggressive motorcycle man jewelry. This one's pretty cool. I wear it a good bit. Looks good with this jacket right now. So yeah, good stuff. Anyways, uh, next up, this one is from a brand called Degs and Sale. I actually have two of them that are kind of similar, but this one is Black Onyx. It fits on my pinky. I kind of, I didn't necessarily intend for it to fit on my pinky. I kind of just like didn't know my ring size at the time and just kind of gave it size and it fit on my pinky. It's nice. I actually like it as a pinky ring. I think it's like with those silver pieces I showed in the beginning, it just looks really good. Like when you're like building a full hand of jewelry. So yeah. On a similar note though, same brand. Turquoise piece, again, fits on the pinky, slightly different shape, but I really like turquoise for summertime. I think it's just like a good summer color, if you will. And lastly for the rings, we have another one from Clocks and Colors. This one had like black diamonds in it, although one of them like fell out after like one or two wears, which I was honestly like a little bit disappointed on, but I don't care that deep, honestly, it's whatever. It's like the rings I showed in the beginning, being like sort of filler rings, but this one's like a little bit more detailed and has like that like slight, that little touch of like the, the shimmers of the, of the black diamonds. Let's move on to necklaces now. And first up we have this safety pin one. Again, this one is from Degs and Sale. I really like that this one's just like a silly little safety pin. I like that it's a longer length. I'm definitely gonna tell you right now, I would recommend getting different lengths of necklaces so that you can kind of layer them so that you can have like diversity if you will. Some outfits look better with like a longer pendant whereas some look better with like something that's almost like a borderline choker. So definitely diversify your uh, necklace collection. So next up, same brand. This one has black onyx in it. It's a really good one for layering in my opinion because it's very simple it's thin it's understated it looks really good with other necklaces and i would definitely recommend getting something sort of like that this is probably my favorite everyday necklace it is from clocks and colors again this one's probably my favorite piece that i own from them it's just a very heavy weight sterling like braided necklace very similar to sort of a chrome heart type vibe which for as many jokes as i make about chrome hearts i do think that some of their jewelry is really nice and it's all very high quality, obviously. So having something sort of in that realm without it actually being that is a nice, is a nice little uh, alternative right there. So this is a great everyday necklace. It has held up excellent for me over time. And yeah. Next up, this is probably my most like out of the ordinary type necklace for me. I'm not necessarily a huge pearl guy, but I like this one. It's got the freshwater pearls and then I want to say it's malachite and something else. I forget what, but it's nice. It's 
from the brand Vert, Vert, however you say it. It has like the gold right here. I'm not usually a gold guy, but like when it's on, you hardly see that at all. Good little like sort of statement jewelry piece. I actually, ironically enough, this is like the one outfit that I really like wearing it with, this green jacket. Something about the green jacket being like more of like a rugged vintagey vibe and then this being like, has like a feminine touch to it if you will. And I think it just pairs really nicely with like, again, this jacket. I don't know, it's just a good way to sort of mix two vibes that seem very different and sort of bring them together, which I appreciate. It's probably a really bad explanation for why I like these two pieces together, but who cares? Hey man, I, I care. Next up, we have another black onyx piece. It is, again, a longer length, and it is, again, Degs and Sale. I like this one because, you know, you put it on, it goes down here, and then when you throw on this one with it, they're kind of at, like, varying lengths, which, again, kind of, like, they kind of play off each other. I think that's very important when you start like getting a lot of jewelry is getting stuff that can sort of like do well on its own but also play well with other pieces and so yeah that's a good one for that. Lastly we have this necklace right here turquoise from Clocks and Colors. On one side it has like this pattern that kind of like is over the top of the turquoise and then on the back it's just the straight up turquoise. I have not worn this necklace too too much. It's not exactly my style although i do appreciate sort of the um design to it but i don't know we'll see it's getting closer to or i guess it is springtime now getting close to summer so maybe it'll be something i wear as it gets warmer out but as for right now i'm just not seeing as much wear out of it as some of the other pieces but nevertheless good stuff i gave it to bailey yeah for spring summer but yeah, that's it. That is my whole entire jewelry collection right now. That's everything I got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a thumbs up, which is the same thing if you liked it. Maybe drop a comment too. You know, what's your favorite jewelry brand? Which piece was your favorite? What's your favorite color? What'd you have for dinner last night? Whatever. It doesn't matter. Thanks so much. Until next time. Bye. Couple new racks, new bags Go ahead, baby, take a drag, I'm at it, yeah Got too much on my mind, so I'm putting up the time And I gotta get by, I'm rhyming Take another beat, I'm gliding